Hi guys, this is uh, the training I wanted to do for you today. Uh, we're going to be talking about how to use Evernote in your accounts uh, and, uh, and maybe I'll be able to help you get uh, your information uh, for your buyers easier for you so you can save time and also you can figure out right away if you're wasting your time or not with someone. This is what I do for my own listings. When I have a listing, I have uh, the name of the person uh, and just understand this the listings is my notebook and then inside the notebook listings I got all these files for each Client that I have and then and then on those files if this this person then I have their comps I have their um, uh, Let me see what is this? Oh, this is the PR the, the public record so so basically I got all the information about this client over here and then I also got the listing agreement signed and everything. So everything is going to be here. Uh, if you're using this on your iPad, I can actually just press my finger on the listing agreement and then it will ask me if I want to open it to PDF Expert and then it will open up on PDF Expert so I can uh, edit and sign that document. Uh, but that's another uh, training. So let's just concentrate on buyers. So I have on one notebook, it's called Buyers, okay? So I'm gonna go to there. So this notebook is, uh, I know I'm working on the buyer, so now I have some, some files already for buyers. And the one I prepare for you is basically this template. Okay, so if I have somebody that is called, let's say John. John called me right now and I'm talking to them on the phone and, and says uh, he's a buyer, somebody who called me for a lead or, or returning a phone call. And uh, so I immediately go to template, and uh, obviously you don't want to change your template. So you want to do a control A, control copy. So you're going to copy everything. So then you're going to go to new note. Now you're still under notebook buyers, but now you have a new note, and this is a uh, John Buyer. That's his name. Okay. So now you're going to put your notes in here, and you're going to paste what you just copy. So let's talk about this. What exactly is that uh, what you have put in here? So let me see if I can get this bigger for you. Hold on. Okay, I just pasted it under John Buyer and I just paste from my template everything I need to know. So immediately I know that I need to speak to this person about LP Mama. Location, price, motivation, agent, mortgage, and appointment. Okay, first of all I say, uh, yes, what was your name again? Can, I, can you spell it for me? John Buyer. So this is where I'm gonna put their name and making sure that uh, I have the right information. And the number is whatever number they tell you to make sure in case we get hang up, just uh, what's the best number for me to call you. So you put uh, the number there. So we're gonna start the LP man. Where do you want to buy a property? Okay, so this is the location. Where do you want to buy a property? Well, this person may say they wanna buy a property in Germantown, Maryland. Okay, and what is your price range? So they will say, well, I'm looking for $300,000. So that's all you have to do. Just gonna click right there and it's telling you it's $300,000. And, and uh, let me ask another question, Mr. John. Uh, how soon do you need to move? Uh, looking about six months. So, okay, we put a six months in there. Then I uh, say, have you signed a buyer agency agreement with an agent already? And they say, no, I, well, what is that? That's when you explain to them what a buyer agency agreement, briefly explain to them what it is and then just say no it's done did you apply for a mortgage already and obviously this is uh, another place where you want to spend some time explaining to them how important this is but if they say no obviously uh, you will be asking them uh, i'm gonna have my loan officer give you a call so we can go ahead and get started with you and if they say well i have somebody else so i said well if it's some way that you can save money can show you how to save money in the interest rate or maybe in the rates that they're going to give you Will, uh, is it worth it to you for you to check it out and compare? It's not, it's not going to be any cost to you, but you can have also a loan officer check that your rates that you're getting are the most, uh, the, the best rates out there. So you you make sure that you get all the information, and then finally you go to the last part, which is let's get together, and I would really love to help you. Uh, will afternoon or evenings work better for you? How about Saturdays? And this is really all you have to do. So when, once you finish with this, Evernote actually automatically uh, saves this for you. you. There is no save button here, so it's, it's done. 
so from this you can go uh, work with this person and then let's say you decided you want to work with this person uh, let me show you one more thing you can do okay another thing that you can do is basically go to uh, to this file once again and uh, let's say you're going to be meeting with this person on Saturday and uh, you want to show you some properties so you can go ahead and open up the, the, the file for this person John Byer and go to you can save uh, you can save the uh, let's see mm. You can save the properties. The properties you're gonna be showing them on Saturday. Okay, so let's just uh, let's just uh, let me arrange this for a second. Hold on. Type. Okay, let me find one. Okay, here's one. So I'm gonna I this is something that I save from my uh, the matrix to be able to to have a list of the houses that I want to show this person. So when I'm in the road, I have my iPad, and uh, I have this this uh, over here already, in in, the, in my in my Evernote, and uh, it shows all the properties that I'm gonna be showing them, you know. And then, and uh, another good thing that you can do is that after that you can start taking notes, you know. And you can say uh, he likes this property, he doesn't like this property, whatever, and then. Uh, and uh, these, are, these are notes that's going to be very important for you to see how uh, the showing the houses progresses as the buyer gets more interested or more motivated to put an offer. So this is another way how to help you get uh, all this uh, in, uh, Evernote to help you organize your files with Evernote and it's very easy to maintain. As long as that you can do this from your iPad or you can do this from your phone. You don't have to have an iPad to do this. You can do it from, from any phone. You can have the app Evernote and you can have everything in there. Uh, as, you can, as you can see, I also use uh, Evernote from my desk. So I have all types of uh, um, shortcuts, you know, for different, if I have uh, any uh, uh, investments, campaigns, uh, the blogs that I must read, uh, marketing ideas. I have everything in there that um, uh, I can have to either read later on or something that is very important that I need to keep. Uh, and this is a great way to organize yourself, but it's the best when I have to organize my listings. I go to listings and then if I have a new listing right now, I go here and uh, the only thing I gotta put is the name of my listing, my new listing person and uh, and that's when I put all their notes, okay? So just wanted to give you that tip and uh, hopefully this is going to help you. And now uh, one more thing, I'm gonna be sending you by email this, this uh, template so you can have it on your Evernote. Have a great day.